Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we come into the Lord's presence to offer this holy sacrifice, which gives to us the grace of redemption that we receive through faith and the Holy Spirit. We celebrate the feast of St. Matthias, chosen through the church by the Holy Spirit to be a successor to the apostles, to be an apostle uh, in place of Judas, who fell away. We praise the Lord for his gracious care for the church in providing her with St. Matthias and ask his prayers that we may worthily enter these holy mysteries as we acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you were sent to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. You will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us, through his intercession, that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, my brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his encampment become desolate and may no one dwell in it and may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken off from us, become with us a witness to this resurrection. So they proposed to Joseph called Baraba, Basabas, who was also known as Justus and Matthias. They then prayed, You, O Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the Lord fell on Matthias, and was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. 
The response is, the Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is it like <clears throat> Lord, our God, who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below, the Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust, from the downhill he lifts up the poor to sit with them with princes, with the princes of his own people. The Lord will lift them up that's of the people. Alleluia, alleluia. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, as the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept the Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask the father in my name he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. This feast of Saint Matthias shows us how the Lord provides for his church after his resurrection from the dead and his ascension to heaven. He provides for us through his continued presence in the power of the Holy Spirit that fills the hearts of believers. Jesus chose among all of his disciples, 12 men, to be the ones whom he called apostles, those who were to be given primary responsibility for preaching the gospel, and who were also given the responsibility of shepherding, that is, governing God's faithful. The number 12 chosen to any Israelite, any Jew of Jesus' day, the number 12 immediately 
brought to mind the 12 tribes of Israel. That Israel consisted not just of one tribe or five tribes or eight tribes or 20 tribes, but of 12. And Jesus said to his apostles that you will sit on the thrones of David to govern God's people. Not apart from Jesus, but as his vicars. But one of the twelve fell away. He threw the grace of Jesus, as it were, back into the Lord's face. And even when the Lord gave him the opportunity to repent and to be restored to the number of the twelve, as Peter repented after he denied the Lord three times and was restored, not only restored, but restored to leadership among the twelve, he would not. Thus fulfilling the description in Scripture of the one who refuses communion with God. Let his encampment become desolate. May no one dwell in it. The scripture also says, may another take his office. And the 11 remaining apostles again at the direction and the guidance of the Holy Spirit in the midst of all the brothers and sisters who had also received the Spirit, they take charge as is their mission and their role. And they proposed to the church, we must fill the empty office that Judas betrayed. And so they select two candidates and then casting lots so as to make it clear that the final decision is really the Lord's, not their own. The lot falls on Matthias. It is in the same spirit and with the same guidance that the first apostles then ordained successors to their ministry, not to their office per se, the apostolic office, being an apostle, the church has always understood was limited to those first 12. And then when Judas fell away to Matthias. Although the ministry of an apostle was also designated to Paul, to Barnabas, And that apostolic ministry has continued in the life of the church because Jesus has not abandoned his church. He continues to lead his church in the power of the Holy Spirit through the ones whom he chooses. And that's the, another great truth that this feast reminds us of, that none of us is here because we have chosen to be here. Without Jesus first choosing us. Yes, we're here because obviously we choose to be here. 
We are drawn to Jesus in the Eucharist. We are drawn to the prayers of the liturgy and drawn to be with each other. Brothers and sisters, because Jesus has chosen each one of us. Yes, we choose to be here, but only because grace has first come into our life. Jesus has first chosen us. And that is so essentially, that is so essential to understanding how we stand before God. Only by grace. Only by God's decision, which we ratify by our own decisions. And we ratify it every day. As we confess Jesus as Lord, as we worship him, as we call upon the graces of our baptism, the other sacraments, and the other graces, actual graces that God gives us each day, and participate in the mission of the church. It is an apostolic mission. So therefore, a, a member of the church who says, I will not act according to the bishop. I will act in this way. A sure sign, Holy Spirit's not there. But another spirit, the spirit of this world, the spirit of pride. Now our mission, each one of us, whether ordained or a member of the laity, is to continue the apostolic mission first given to the apostles and then continued in the life of the church through her sacraments. And the mission of the church is to love Jesus. And Jesus says, the proof of your love is that you keep my word. That you trust in me, keep my word. And Jesus tells us when we do this, the end result is joy. Peace, a conscience that is clear and clean and ready, truly, to bring Jesus into a world that is not necessarily happy to receive him, but which must receive him if it is to be saved. So Matthias was chosen, and he did the work of an apostle, and he was martyred. That's why I'm wearing red vestments, to remember that. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. I no longer call you slaves, Jesus says, because a slave doesn't know what his master is doing. He doesn't understand what love is, what charity is. Oh, he understands how to be selfish, how to be proud and angry and fearful and hard of heart. Oh, he understands those things very well. And he is a slave to all of them. But the one whom Jesus chooses, he gives grace so that we may cooperate with it and become his friends by learning how to love him and the following of the commandments is the way love is perfected in our hearts. Now providentially, how we will end our days in this world is, is not clear. The circumstances are clear. St. John Paul II, as we were coming to the uh, millennial year of 2000, said, first of all, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to follow Jesus. But secondly, the church is a church of martyrs, people who, if they don't actually shed their blood for Jesus, are willing to do so and do not shrink from it. So St. Matthias, pray for us. Like you, 
we were chosen to be members of the elect. Like you, we were given grace. You, the grace of ordination, following upon and building upon the grace of baptism, and we, the grace of our baptism and of our confirmation. And some of us, the grace of married life. St. Matthias, pray for us that we may cooperate with that grace as you did, even if it means I must shed my blood. Because that's what genuine light, love, genuine love, caritas, that love which when we say God is love, that's the love we mean. Because love demands nothing less. Let us stand. Through the prayers of St. Matthias, who is in the heavenly liturgy, making intercession for us, we pray. Lord, you chose Matthias, faithful disciple, to take the place of Judas the betrayer. Keep us always faithful to you, we pray to the Lord. Grants our prayer, O Lord. Lord, you sent your apostles out to preach your word to the ends of the earth. Teach us to live the gospel in our everyday world so that we may be a living word testifying to the eternal word, we pray to the Lord. Grants our prayer, O Lord. Lord, you called your apostles to follow you through death to glory. Inspire us to love the cross and to never be afraid of dying for love of you. We pray to the Lord. Grants our prayer, O Lord, for peace in the world, for the protection of our servicemen and women and first responders, for those who've fallen, for the consolation of their families. We pray to the Lord. Grants our prayer, O Lord, for God's blessings of unity and peace upon all marriages and families, for an abundance of vocations to the priesthood, diaconate, and consecrated life. We pray to the Lord. Grants our prayer, O Lord, for God's blessings upon our parish and all of our parish apostolates, that benefiting by the witness and the prayers of St. Matthias, whom we honor today, we may bear fruit for the new evangelization. We pray to the Lord. Grants our prayer, O Lord, for all those who are burdened by any need, for the sick and dying, the homeless and unemployed, for widows and orphans, refugees, immigrants, migrants, for victims of war, violence, natural disasters, persecutions, human exploitation, for all the suffering poor, we pray to the Lord. Grants our prayer, O Lord, for all those who have died in the hope of resurrection, especially among our family, friends, benefactors, and fellow parishioners, we pray to the Lord. Grants our prayer, O Lord, and for those special prayers which we bring before the Lord this day. Pour forth upon your church, O Lord, the gift of your Holy Spirit, that our love for one another, which is the Spirit's gift, and for your word, may set fire to our world as the apostles set fire to theirs through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And this Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Edward Tappy, who passed from this world 22 years ago this day. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Matthias, Saint Hugh, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you, says the Lord. Alleluia. The body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts, and through blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to a share in the lot of the saints in life. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi, Letare, Alleluia. Quia quem meruisti portare, Alleluia. Resurrexit, sicut dixit, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia. St. Joseph, pray for us.